The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Centers for Disease Control and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. The creatures continue to attack civilians taking shelter in their homes. Tendrils continue to grow from cracks and sewer holes. The creatures can now grow tendrils from their backs and can inject their victims with the contagious disease. If there is an infected individual in your home, remove them from your shelters now. Barricade all entrances to your shelter. Cover all windows. These creatures will attack if they find you. Stay tuned for more updates as they become available. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. At 2.35 p.m. Central Standard Time, the creatures were reported to have mutated. The creatures have grown a set of wings and are now flying over the city of Hopkinsville. The tendrils were reported to be growing into shelters. To protect yourself from these tendrils, take the following precautions. Maintain your distance from these tendrils. Use a knife, axe, hatchet, sword, or any sharp object to cut the tendrils. You only have a limited amount of time before the tendrils begin to attack. If a creature enters your shelter, hide from it immediately. Stay tuned for more updates as they become available. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Residents in the city of Hopkinsville are advised to remain in your shelters. The city has been overrun by these creatures. The contagious disease continues to spread throughout the city of Hopkinsville. Police officials, as well as members of SWAT, have all been infected and have mutated into these creatures. The creatures, now called parasites, can be identified with the following characteristics. Black skin, yellow eyes, enlarged heads, sharp claws, larger muscle mass, tendrils, wings, increased levels of aggression, and loud screeching noises. You can only get infected if you are injected with the dark liquid. At this time, the United States government is currently developing a plan to fight against these creatures. Please stand by and await further instructions. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. A robot production factory has exploded in the city of Hopkinsville. The cause of the explosion is unknown at this time. An unidentified individual has left the scene, leaving behind a trail of blood. The explosion has released a large smoke cloud into the air. The mayor of Hopkinsville advises all civilians to The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Department of Homeland Security and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Three individuals, along with military officials, have been sent out to fight against the creatures in the city of Hopkinsville. The individuals will be contributing to the cure research currently ongoing at this time. 
FEMA will be delivering supplies, in armored trucks, to civilians in their shelters. If your shelter has been overrun by 10 drills, FEMA will be transporting civilians into shelters. If you wish to stay in your shelter, tie a bright towel to a visible spot on your house. Stay tuned to this or other media outlets for the latest information as it becomes available. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. An individual is currently taking out the flying parasites over the city of Hopkinsville. The individual's name is X, a 22-year-old Hispanic male, 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, with blonde hair and amber eyes. X was last seen wearing silver armor, a gray coat, black pants, and gray boots. He was last seen carrying a pistol and a sniper rifle, which he is using to shoot down the flying parasites. Parasites may fall to the ground at any time and cause significant damage to life and property. If you plan on evacuating to the emergency shelters, stay indoors. Do not interfere with X or military officials. Stay tuned for more updates as they are received. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Another individual is currently taking out parasites in the city of Hopkinsville. The individual's name is Johnny, a 19-year-old white male, 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 133 pounds, with black hair and blue eyes. He was last seen wearing a black fedora, a gray jacket, black pants, and black boots. He was last seen carrying a large sword and a belt with various knives. Military officials are assisting Johnny with fighting the parasites. FEMA will continue to evacuate civilians to the emergency shelters. Please stand by and await further instructions. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. A massive explosion has occurred outside the Hopkinsville Country Club. Multiple parasites have been killed by the explosion. An individual has left the scene. The individual's name is James, a 23-year-old white male, 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds, with black hair and red eyes. He was last seen wearing a gray trench coat, brown pants, and brown boots. James is equipped with various explosives, grenades, and bombs. The Federal Emergency Management Agency advises all civilians to evacuate areas where parasites are present, as they will be bombed by James. If you see an explosion, do not panic. Stay away from James and any explosions in your area. The following message is being transmitted at the request of the Federal Emergency Management Agency. 
an unidentified individual was last seen roaming throughout the city of Hopkinsville. The individual's identity is unknown at this time. The individual was last seen wearing a black fedora, a black trench coat, and black boots. The individual is believed to be mutating into a parasite. If you see this individual, do not approach him. Stay away from all parasites at all times.